Hello everyone. Today we will be seeing how to install the mod pack compiled by me on your computer. Download the mod pack from the link down in the description from the Google Drive. After you download it, you will get a zip file in your downloads folder. Right click on the zip file, not like that. Yes, and extract here. The mod pack will be extracted on your downloads folder. You can click on it and you can see there will be three folders and one text document. Let me explain what each do. The mods folder contains all the mods required in the mod pack. The flans folder is another set of mods which are not in the mods folder but are essential for the mod pack. The configuration file has the configurations of each and every mod used in the mod pack. Some configurations have been changed to ensure stability or to increase performance. And last, the key bindings. Normally, when you play Minecraft, your keys are already pre-binded. You may at times change it or not change it. But because here we are using so many mods which need so many keys, many keys were overlapped. So I have already prepared a custom set of key bindings in this text file. I will tell you how to how to just place it in your Minecraft folder so that you can play the game properly. You can also change these in future after you download and run the mod. So what? So open your Minecraft launcher. I'm using TL launcher. Don't hate me. And click on TL mods. You will get something like this. Most other launchers will have similar features or might look similar or might be different, but the basic concept is same. You have to create another instance of Minecraft to install this mod pack. This is, it can't, can, if you don't want, you cannot do it also, but it's better to just run a separate instance than just set it on your own whole game. So go to this create option on the top. You will be asked to enter the name of the instance and the version. Let me just name it mod. The game version is 1.12.2. Yeah. And the forge version, just leave it as it is. You don't need to change anything. You can take these things also, preferably your ticket for the skins. And create an instance. Now, if you go here, you will see there is already an instance named mod pack and where is the mod instance why what it is it why is it so above wait uh shouldn't be above i guess yeah it's 16.12.2 ah uh, doesn't matter just just go to i yeah just go to this selection and select the instance you created and enter game let the game run now here are sound now here i have an instance of minecraft a 1.12.2 version forge you can see right now there are no mods loaded it's the default mods which are already present and you can just go and change the video settings to support your hardware i'll just keep everything a bit low i like high brightness because it's, it helps in the caves yeah, many maps you turn it down to one or zero, but it will after you click turn it will just that your Minecraft might freeze in a minute or two. Now actually, right now with what we need here, our instance has been created. There is the instance version in the of our computer. Now we can just exit and quit game. Now we go to the TL launcher again and 
you there are two methods you can either click on this file icon and it will take you to the real minecraft file in the real launcher or you can do this you can go to the tl launcher option or icon on your desktop or wherever you can right click on it and choose open file location it, it will also lead you to the same place now here find this thing named versions it will be it will be most probably the last folder in this place minecraft click on versions and here are all the instances of minecraft in your launcher now other launchers like M multi mc or technic or fo or twitch they will have kind of similar things like using instances and all so yeah just follow up on how they do it so here we see we have the instance we created named mod click on it and here's we have a couple of files see config mods remember these options so first what we got to do is go to the config folder and delete it then go to the mods folder delete it and i'm not kidding you have to delete it now go back to your downloads where the mod pack folder is there just select the mod pack or you can just for convenience just cut it and just paste it here just for convenience it's not necessary now here you see we have a config file similar to the config file we deleted earlier here including the mod file also don't confuse the mod folder sorry folder with this exit jar executable jar no 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 don't please so go to the mods select all these four and bring them up here or if you can't do that just cut and paste as simple as that now we have if you see the key binding there is no file named key bindings because there is there is a file named options which contains the key bindings in it if you click on options you will get all the settings you have changed in the game from graphics to hardware keyboard etc etc go down just slowly just go down and you will see it here uh, sorry tutorial step moment after this you see key attacks key whatever 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 go down there are a lot these are actually your key bindings and there is the sound category master whatever it is so just select these values will be different for you so just check for this first part before the colon select from key hard part so ignore the number whatever number you just select from key hard part and till tutorial step and delete it or backspace whatever you want now we have the key bindings here with us already i have already preset these you cannot you cannot also do this step but you have to change the key bindings and manually in your settings to play the game properly just select everything make sure there is no space or gap and or if you can't follow that i if you can't oh sorry or oh, cancel and just keep it open and this just before the tutorial step and sound category paste whatever you have copied go down to make sure there is no gap you have no gap in space sound and this and no gap in here so what i mean if there is a gap like this no don't i don't know if things will get rusty or something will happen but just to be safe just keep no gaps like that and control s or just go and save it now if you want you can delete the key bindings folder you have already done it in options so you can just go ahead and delete it you can also go ahead and delete this empty mod pack folder 
the one which you got from the downloaded now check out the configs whatever i showed before they are here the flan mods is here the mods folder is here and the key bindings you just merge it into the options and everything else keep it as it is now you can just exit out and go to your launcher select a version here at last it's down here select the version enter the key now this more i have i tried my best to make the mod pack as light as possible but you might face a couple of hard or, or lags or some stuff like that so it's if you still face stuff like that you can just try to lower your settings graphic settings further down or when you play just don't have any background applications while the minecraft is running oh and by the way you can just close the tl launcher thing also uh it, this to save space yeah. let this run and if it's just say like that just let it go so it will load up don't worry it's that light Now, as you can see, my Minecraft has been opened, and you can see it says 25 mods loaded. So just go to the mods, and you will see that all the mods are loaded already. You don't need to just do anything to that, it's already done for you. You can go to options, you can go to controls. Now, remember, I said. I have changed the key bind. I have already pre-allocated key bindings. Now, a couple of key bindings might seem awkward to like. I normally use my left shift as print key and control as sneak key. So yeah, it's the it, you will see. Normally Minecraft just keeps sneak as shift and control as shift. Now you will see there are lots, lots of key binding options here. Lots. The red ones means that there is some conflictions, but I have checked it all, you don't need to worry about any of that, it's all good. And yeah, I would recommend you to just go through all the key bindings, like what they do and what what's all that cause. Yeah, the mod, there are much, there are three or four core mods which provide most of the functionality. So, yeah, you need to know what they do, like vein miners, like uh, light version of vein miners whatever that is now you can just go ahead name a single player world and whatever and just create a world or you can just join some you can upload this to a server and join in it just let me show you what the world looks like all oh, hello programs And here we are in this world. As you can see, I already loaded it and did a couple of stuff to make sure everything is right. And yeah, yeah. So that's how you install my mod pack. I hope you liked it. Any there was any questions ask up in the comment i will be glad to help you all anytime ha their voice noises intensifies and so yeah i guess that's it for today and let's end this with a bang i guess Oh, let me get in. Okay, thank you. Oh, no, 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 no.
Come on. Ah, he's a goner. And so. Ooh. And don't and remember don't fly too fast or you, yeah. You will crash. So that's it for today. See you all again.